Most people hear about the Puga Chef's Cobra long before they actually understand what it is. The name sounds dramatic, the videos look unusual, and it leaves viewers wondering why a fighter jet would suddenly lift its nose so sharply and slow down that much on purpose. At first glance, it looks like the aircraft is losing control, but in reality, it's doing something very specific, very intentional, and technically impressive. The Cobra is one of those maneuvers that looks strange until you know the physics behind it. And once you do, it becomes one of the clearest demonstrations of how far modern fighter design has pushed aerodynamics. In its simplest form, the Cobra is a rapid pitch-up to an extremely high angle of attack, often around 90 degrees or even more. The pilot is flying straight, then pulls back hard, lifting the nose almost vertically while the rest of the aircraft continues moving forward for a moment. Because the jet's forward speed drops quickly, it momentarily sits in a position where airflow over the wings is largely separated. Normally, this would cause an immediate stall, but the aircraft recovers smoothly because of its specific aerodynamic design and engine power. There's no tumbling, no spin, just a controlled return to level flight. Only a handful of fighter jets can perform this maneuver correctly, and that's because the Cobra requires a rare combination of factors. The aircraft needs powerful engines that can maintain control even when drag spikes. It needs a flight control system that can stabilize the jet during rapid changes in angle of attack. And most importantly, the airframe must be able to handle airflow separation without losing controllability. This is why Russian fighters like the Su-27 family and the MiG-29 series became known for it. Their design philosophy includes relaxed static stability, large lifting surfaces, and in some versions thrust vectoring, which together create the environment needed for the maneuver. The Cobra's practical value in real combat is a topic that comes up often. The official explanation is that the maneuver could force an opponent to overshoot during a close, range chase, giving the performing aircraft a temporary positional advantage. While this is theoretically possible, modern air combat rarely depends on such close, quarters moves, high off, foresight missiles and helmet, mounted sights have reduced the need for dramatic speed changes at close range. So today, the Cobra is better understood as a demonstration of what the aircraft is capable of rather than a standard tactical move. Technically, the maneuver is interesting because of what happens aerodynamically. At very high angles of attack, most aircraft would immediately depart controlled flight. But the Su series fighters generate strong vortices along their leading edges, maintaining some lift even when the wings are nearly perpendicular to the airflow. The flight control computer rapidly adjusts control surfaces to prevent yaw or roll instability. If the aircraft has thrust, vectoring nozzles, those also help maintain pitch control when the wings are doing very little. It's a short maneuver, but inside those few seconds a lot of complex airflow management is taking place. For pilots, performing the Cobra is less about drama and more about precision. The aircraft has to be at the right speed, because too fast can overstress the airframe, and too slow may not give the engines enough authority to control the recovery. The pitch input has to be smooth and decisive, not too gentle, and not excessively aggressive. And the exit from the maneuver must be controlled, so the jet returns to stable flight without unnecessary oscillation. Done correctly, the aircraft looks calm and composed throughout the move, which is exactly the point. In practical dogfighting terms, the Cobra has very limited real-world value. While it can theoretically make an opponent overshoot, the maneuver costs a huge amount of energy, leaving the aircraft slow and vulnerable right after the move. Modern missile com that also rarely requires such dramatic close-range tricks. As a result, the Cobra is mostly an airshow demonstration today, useful for showcasing supermaneuverability, engine power, and flight control capability, but not something pilots rely on in real aerial combat.